Welcome to It's Time to Win with Empower Nista, where we win wholeheartedly, win intentionally, and never give up. I am your host, Empower Nista, Ray Lynn Hall, and I am excited because I have a guest with me today, Zaretha Graverly, and she's going to share with us about winning courageously. Welcome to the show, Zaretha. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. Thank you for having me. Great. Thank you. You're so welcome. So let's, I want to hear, let us, let our viewers learn a little bit more about you. Tell us your story. Who are you as a woman? You know, a couple of years ago, well, maybe more than six years ago, I didn't even know who I was as a woman. Mm -hmm. You know, I always lived my life, you know, raising my kids and just striving to the next and just trying to do all that I can for them. And then after I um, moved to Georgia and I found the love of my life, everything just got to a point where it was good and comfortable. Everybody okay. was happy, you know. Mm -hmm. I was living my best, well, you know, looked like anything my best life, but at the same time, I was sad inside. You know, mm -hmm. I started being depressed. Okay. And didn't know exactly what it was, but it was because that I finally had time to ask what did Zaretha want. Mm. And Zaretha had no idea what she wanted at all. And then one day, I met Mary Kay, and from there, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, being around a room with a bunch of successful ladies who only wanted to see you succeed, mm -hmm. who wants to see you being the best you and stepping outside your comfort zone, that's when I started finding who Zaretha is. And learning so much new things about myself. And I must say, I really like myself. <laughs> that is real I'm happy you like yourself. <laughs> That's good. So we, I do hear that a lot, that we as women tend to get to a point in our lives where we face depression, where we feel like we don't quite know who we are, where we're going, and where life is taking us. Tell me a little bit, how did you overcome that? How did you get past that depression? I found Mary Kay. You found Mary Kay? That's what it was. That's what, that's what saved me. I used to find myself, leave the house, I would go down the street to the park, mm -hmm. and I would just sit there. And it was something about being in nature and watching everybody, you know, they're doing different things. And it mm -hmm. just brought me peace. Mm. But then when I found Mary Kay, I started being around, you know, a bunch of different ladies. I started stepping outside my comfort zone. Okay. I started, you know, pleasing others because that's just who I am. Mm -hmm. So I felt so much joy inside of pampering ladies. And mm -hmm. so one thing that I do believe is that you're supposed to take time for yourself. We mm -hmm. as women, we put all these titles on and we forget about us. So we have to take time to take those titles out. So within that... That's where I started finding out who I was, and I stepped out of it. I didn't even know I was in it until I got out of it. Mm. So it was basically the time you got to spend around other women that helped bring out the woman who you are today. So being able to see how other women are and having that time for self-care and, and beautifying yourselves mm. and um, helping other people feel good inside by making sure that their outer side looks good as well with the makeup, correct? Well, um, peace. There's a okay. deeper part to it. Okay. You know, because I tell them when I go to give them a facial, mm -hmm. I want you to leave everything at the door, all the titles, because we don't all have time to go to these, you know, hundred dollar spas and stuff mm -hmm. and, and go okay. use some of the best things and you know just really take time for yourself so just giving them that is where they get to remember who they are mm. so when they find that you know taking care of your skin that's just something else that I find is very important that nobody taught me growing up you know my family didn't teach us about taking care of our mm. skin and everything mm -hmm. so the makeup part that's just a perk I just realized I like makeup mm -hmm. I'm a natural person I've always been I still you know natural a lot of the times and everything mm -hmm. but I found out that I actually love makeup good so, so you actually found something that you truly love, mm -hmm. and that is great. So tell me, has, tell me a little bit about the challenges you faced in life along the way. One of the big challenges that shifted my life is when my mother left. 
Mm. And then when we found out that she passed away on my birthday. Oh no. And then not having any answers to the previous years to her passing away. Mm -hmm. That was a big moment to where everything shifted in my life. And since yeah. I was such an emotional person, that played a part. And then one of the next biggest things that happened is when I lost my grandma. Oh, no. Yeah. Yes. And that one's when I was growing. And, you know, she took over because I was young when my mother, you know, passed away mm -hmm. and everything. So then she came in. But when I moved here, it's like I couldn't find pure joy inside of all this happiness that okay. I have now because it mm -hmm. was like she was the ultimate sacrifice for me. It's like I had to lose her in order to have this because yeah. I wouldn't have been in Georgia if it wasn't for her passing away and God said, now it's time. Mm -hmm. Because I've been trying to move to Georgia for years, but I knew I could never leave her. Wow. So it took time. It took me finally that I had to take my faith to a whole nother level. And I had to say, okay, God, I accept what you had to do. Mm -hmm. I understand. And I'm okay with it. And then that's when other doors and stuff started opening. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So I first want to say I'm so sorry for your loss. I know going through loss can cause a lot of turmoil. And, and I'm sure that that played a role in, in, in feeling like, you didn't know which direction to go in, but somehow it helped yeah. you get to where you are today. So I would love to hear more about how you have overcome fear to the point where you are able to win courageously. And we'll hear more about that after the break. Welcome back to It's Time to Win with Empower Nista. I am your host, Empower Nista Raylan Hall, and I have with me today Zaretha Gravely, and we are discussing winning courageously. Welcome back, Zaretha. Thank you. Thank you. So before the break, she shared about how she went through finding herself after depression and really finding a camaraderie. Um, along uh, with the women that she has met in her career with Mary Kay. So I would love to learn more about how you have, if there are any fears that you faced along the way and how you've overcome that by being courageous. Well, there's definitely been fear. Um, I'll say it's because of my grandma's covering that was over me because mm. when everything is at turmoil, when I'm at my weakest, with everything going around, I'm actually at my strongest. At your strongest, yes. So I just prevail over it. And, you know, friends of mine always tell me, you know, you make it look so easy, whereas not, but at the same time it is because it's that mm. time that I constantly spend with God. I'm always talking to him all through the day and knowing who he created me to be and I'm created in his image helps make things a lot easier mm -hmm. than it may look, you okay. know, but I still, you know, I have my time and everything, which I usually, um, I would schedule my time to where I needed to just feel everything. Cause I believe okay. you should feel it, mm -hmm. you know, anything that's going on. So I would schedule my time there while I would do that. Okay. You know. So you mean like scheduling your time to when you can just break down and just be, just feel your emotions. Yes. Okay. So when you say schedule your time, is it, what does that look like? <laughs> <laughs> it usually be after the kids go to sleep. Okay. <laughs> after they go to sleep or if, you know, they was at school or anything. And since I've always had my kids and everything you know mm -hmm. they're you know because I'm the auntie that the kids come to my house you know okay they don't go over to auntie house you know they come over here she mm -hmm. helps them with education that's okay. her that's her thing so that's more of the time so I have to plan what is because I can't just fall out anywhere anytime and mm -hmm. I would say more now I do just fall to my knees at Pacific times that where it just happened and stuff because I also I wanted to show my kids so I noticed that was something else that they needed to see mm -hmm. they needed to see that part that prayer life and you know and things like that so um, I have um, 
falling more into my knees and stuff where they may have been around for them to see that part of okay. it and everything. Okay, good. So if say if I'm, I was a woman, and I am a woman, say if I was dealing with some type of fear, not sure, I'm sure when you're speaking to other women about Mary Kay and you're introducing them to the products and, and wanting to have them maybe start their own business, what do you say to the woman who's saying, I can't do this, this no one, you know, I'll have a hard time talking to people and no one's going to want to talk to me and I'm, I don't have the right look. What do you do? How do you help those women who feel like they have a barrier or a fear that's holding them back? I say this and sometimes they don't believe it, but mm -hmm. they're actually the ones that become more successful mm -hmm. because, you know, um, by Mary Kay being around for over 50 something years mm -hmm. that, you know, you have your good and your bad employees, you know, that okay. maybe. so, you know, they've heard a lot of things. Um, but when you, so when I come up to somebody and they're expecting me to want them, you know, you know, really needing them and everything. Mm -hmm. But if you come to them like, you know, you do or you don't. Mm -hmm. You know, my skin is looking very good at taking care of. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not wanting them, you know, coming in that need. Okay. They actually buy more from those consultants who comes like that that's not sellers. Okay. So they actually become way more success, successful. A lot of the nationals and stuff there, they were not sellers at all. Mm -hmm. But once you start coming outside of your comfort zone, you end up finding out there are many things that you are actually excellent at. Okay. So what does winning courageously look like in your life? I wouldn't say I always did. Okay. But now, now... Because I know everything, well, he has revealed so much to me that what I was supposed to be doing, everything makes sense. Mm -hmm. That it, I just, I stick to that. I used to dim my light down for somebody okay. that I was around because I knew I was shining too bright and they wasn't there. So I let their, you mm -hmm. know, spirit, mm -hmm. you know, dim mine's down, but they need mine to be where it's at. So mm -hmm. I just, you know, I wake up, I command my morning, okay. how my day is going to go. Mm -hmm. And no matter what comes through, I know I have something to give to somebody else. And that's what I have to do. Oh, I absolutely love it. You mentioned when you wake up in the morning that you command your morning. Yes. What does that look like? That looks like um, there are times when I will cut on Dr. Cindy Trim. Huh? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love me some Cindy Trim. <laughs> yes. Me too. And she has this power prayer mm -hmm. that is amazing. Okay. You know, so listening to her, you know, spending my time in the word or listening to a sermon. And I, um, through the years, I've got into um, Sarah Jakes. Okay. She is just amazing, her and her husband and everything. And I've mm -hmm. always, um, her father, T.D. Jakes, I've always listened to him. He's actually was with the first time I've heard the Holy Spirit tell me what he was going to do for me in my life mm. is when I was listening to him okay. and it all came true. Okay. So I've always followed him and everything, but um, taking that time out during that day and saying, no matter what, no matter what. No matter what. I love that. I would love to hear more about how the Holy Spirit, you mentioned, has told you what to do with your life after the break. Welcome back to It's Time to Win with Empower Nista. I am your host, Empower Nista Raylan Hall, and I have with me Zaretha Gravely, and we are discussing women winning courageously. And before the break, she shared on how she has been commanding her morning and share a little bit more. Welcome back to the show. Thank you. Share a little bit about how you you mentioned that you heard the Holy Spirit share with you on where you need to 
take your life. Share a little bit about that with me. Well, um, back in 2001, I would say I was at a very in the worldly life. I don't know okay. how much I can say on here. <laughs> that works, worldly life, we get it. <laughs> and anytime that I'm, you know, and where I'm at, I listen to the gospel, you know, anything when I'm in, because that's when I need him, is when I'm somewhere where I know I do not want to be at, and I mm -hmm. need him to lift me out. So I was listening to T.D. Jakes, and he was talking about, you know, um, God positioning you in a place. Mm -hmm. And so after that, I heard the Holy Spirit for the first time of truly hearing him mm -hmm. tell me, all I need you to do is get you and your kids' mindset prepared okay. for what I'm about to do in your life. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put you in a place that where you're going to reap the harvest from the others who have sowed. Okay. And so from there... I've just been preparing, you know, me and the kids mind getting us right and everything. The time things wrong, I'm like, baby, I don't know, but I know God is going to take care of it. It's going to be all right. Mm. Now, over 10 years later, mm -hmm. <laughs> I have my grandma passing away and God said, it's time for you to go right now. Mm -hmm. And I okay. was here in Georgia within a month and everything he said came to pass. I reaped from Everybody else who's been um, sowing, mm -hmm. I reaped the harvest for them. And I was planning and sitting here, and my husband, he was just waiting on me and everything. Mm -hmm. You know, it's crazy how me and him met, but he was just waiting on me. And, mm -hmm. and it has just been amazing since then. And so that's what shifted a lot into my future now because I told God that I'm ready now to be the blessing. I'm ready to be to sow and somebody else is able to come in and reap the harvest, which is something he's been doing. I had let him know I'm very appreciative mm -hmm. to it, but I'm ready to take it to another level. Okay. You know, ready to go more in depth with it. So oh, that looks okay. I love it. That is good. I love the fact that you took the opportunity to be obedient and especially I'm sure there was times where you felt like this is too much. You know, that this is a little bit scary. And did you have any fear during that time? Actually, no. <laughs> I think I was at my strongest when I was oh, really? younger and everything, when okay. I was in the midst of that. Because, I mean, you know, I guess with anybody's eyes, it was living a lower class life. But mm -hmm. it was a blessing to me. And that's when I was just really at my strongest. And I just kept on just prevailing over it and everything. Mm. Okay, so share with us a scripture or a quote that has been the leading force in your life when things become challenging for you. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. I yes. shall want to, Yes. Which I was actually reading that mm -hmm. um, with this devotional book that I was, I was reading, and it had said, and I'm reading, I'm like, I know this does not sound right. Mm -hmm. So I went back because I actually bought in a book, a uh, Bible from the 1800s. Okay. I found at an antique store. Mm -hmm. And so I, I bought the book. So I went back and um, looked at it and I was like, okay, these words are not the same. Mm -hmm. So I went and did more of my due diligence looking through this the daily devotional that I'm now reading. Okay. And um, they wanted to start, they put on there, they wanted to change up the words to suit the next generation. Mm. Oh, and wow. I did not like not that. Good. No, I don't yeah. feel like that. That's good. You know, it's like mm -hmm. what they're doing with history, you mm -hmm. know. Changing it. Yes. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so share with me any upcoming um, projects you're working on. Yes. Well, by the... Um, Towards the end of the year, mm -hmm. um, I'll be finished with the, uh, um, what's it, uh, do goodness, I'm sorry. <laughs> You'll be finishing with uh, the, um, your projects. The Healthy Lifestyle Planner, I'm sorry, just no problem. <laughs> jumbled up. Mm -hmm. The Healthy Lifestyle Planner mm -hmm. and the 13 Steps to a Spiritual Transformation. So they will be ready to be on sale um, towards more of the end of the year. Okay, and share with us um, how we can get in touch with you. Well, please feel free to reach me on social media, on YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram at Zaretha Gravely. And, and if you feel the need to, would love to learn more about your skincare or some lovely makeup skills or the business, please feel free to look me up at MaryKay.com slash Z Gravely. All right. So 
Thank you so much for your time here today. I'm sure our viewers have learned so much from your story. And we just want to thank you for coming out and sharing with us on It's Time to Win with Empower Nista. Thank, thank you. you.